Howdy, how y'all doing? This is George the First Forever. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we're at La Bufadora, the blowhole here in the Baja Peninsula over by Ensenada. This is gonna be a fun journey, so come join us. What are we doing here? <laughs> I'm sure you want me to say. We got kidnapped. We got kidnapped. Anyway, we, we bought a cheap tour and we're seeing what is uh, seeing Bufadora? El Bufadora. El Bufadora on the cheap. That's what we're doing. I tell you, this is going to be fun. We're at uh, yeah. let's, let's, let's hold that. Let's, this is going to be fun. To hey, we, we could have had as many drinks we wanted and certainly we've had enough uh, churros. That's been pretty good. And it's beautiful view. Look behind me here. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, I don't know if they're stopping. I'll get there first, okay? There you go. Take a light of our camera. Don't be a forget-me-not and not bring your camera. Even this cheap excursion should be a Kodak moment. Say cheese. You just might ask, how do we get ourselves onto this cheap tour to La Bufadora? Well, I need to rewind a little bit to where we're on the cruise ship heading into Ensenada. We were on a four night cruise on the Carnival Radiance. One of the ports was Ensenada, and as we headed into Hutchison Port, we really didn't have any idea what we wanted to do other than doing Ensenada on the cheap. Heading off the ship and dodging that barrage of photographers, we were in search of something to do than just walking around the harbor at the waterfront boardwalk. Being frugal, could I find a cheap tour here at the port? Walking out of the port, we noticed this sign. Yeah, a $4 round trip from the port to downtown Ensenada over by the McDonald's and the Starbucks. Well, to save the walk, what is about 1.3 kilometers or about a mile, we decided to take the shuttle trip. To walk that one mile, it's about 20 minutes. The shuttle comes and goes every 10 minutes. So to get back from downtown, yeah, just a 10 minute wait. So we got on a bus here, $4 round trip. We head downtown in Sonata. We were gonna walk out of the port, but I made a quick change just saying, I'll pay the four bucks round trip. This shuttle ride and this certificate is gonna change our lives, at least for the day. Thank you. Viva la experiencia. Live the experience, La Bufadora. This cheap excursion was calling our name. Senior conductor here was explaining to us that this certificate will get us on a cheap trip to La Bufadora. Yeah, 25 bucks. Where on the ship, it was 49.99. Are they out of their mind? Well, probably not. It'd probably be safer just to do the carnival tour. Plus, it just left right there from the port. But no. We wanted to do this on the cheap, so we took the cheap option, 25 bucks. La Bufadora is a blowhole located 17 miles south of Ensenada at the tip of the Punta Banta Peninsula. You know, this blowhole is an amazing natural marine geyser that's capable of shooting water over 60 feet in the air. This has to be a must-see, well, at least once in your life. Four dollar round trip bus brought us down a couple of blocks down to the McDonald's. We paid our tour cost in cash and hopped onto the shuttle heading off to La Bufadora. Now, is this a gamble? What did we get ourselves into? Ho oh, ho, wait till we find out. For that price, not only did we get a bus ride to La Bufadora, we got entertainment. Of course, we paid tips to the entertainment, but for this price, we got Monica as our tour guide. She was a wealth of knowledge and a stand up comedian. They will be the ones in 
chance to negotiate prices for the rest of the group. <laughs> we will be a couple hours together, so I'm sure that we everyone are gonna have fun, no? Yeah. Well, here, Monica was a wonderful tour guide. But the shuttle, well, maybe not so much. There's no padding on the seat, air conditioning did work, but for legroom, oh, don't think about it. We need to run. I'm <laughs> sure that we will be back with plenty of time for you to even get the chance to look around in town. Okay, okay. I just want to be sure that nobody's on rush to make it through before. Uh huh. So. This was no carnival bus. And let me tell you, when they said they're going to leave at 1 o'clock from La Bufadora, the excursion site, you better be on this bus because they will leave you behind. And they did. They left three people behind to catch another bus later on during the day. That'd be scary being left at a tourist site, not being able to head back to the ship an hour drive away. And here with them, you can leave the space, bring your motor home, you can stay the night, a weekend, or the rest of your lives. Signing a special, like that. <laughs> What it means the sign? Bump. It's just a speed bump sign. Bingo. Got it. Uh huh. Why that smile in your faces, boys? <laughs> we are driving on the perfect loop, so we are going up into the hills. You are right about to see which is my favorite view of the whole city, the waterfront side. Uh huh. We are about to make it through the Bufadore area, which is also the shopping area. In here you are going to see about 150 stores to look around. Almost everyone got the same stuff. Beautiful Mexican souvenirs. Now these 150 shops she just mentioned, we call the gauntlet. It seemed like thousands of vendors pushing their drinks, food and wares. My advice, just keep on walking, keep on walking, no bueno. What's the free alcohol? Plenty here. While people were trying to get their deal of the lifetime, our tour was a broken mess and in chaos. The rest of the group knows Don't forget you guys come back. <laughs> Maybe Monica should have had one of those tour guide flags. Then the group would have stayed together. Not. You can get any kind of drinks on your preferred like a smoothie, like slushy. There's no alcohol. Oh yeah, but you want I make with tequila, Ronald or vodka, okay. unlimited alcohol right now, two seconds to make. Piña colada, ten dollars with a free refill at the way back. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. If you want to Thank you. What is it? Mango. Yeah, but it's got chili on it. Let me try it. Right? I don't. Hey, bro. It's simple. It's simple. Oh, it's not hot. Does it have chili on it? Not much here. That's for Charlie, okay? okay. And the clams. Th those are oysters, mango clams, and clam soup. And that's a small clam right there. And then we first you cook them right here, right? Yeah, fresh. Kill them right there, and then we do them right there. Everything's fresh. Oh, cool. So you wait back. I'm Charlie, okay? Okay. Don't forget about me. I won't. Looking at those fresh clams and oysters, yeah, this seafood was too tempting for me to pass up. Time to dig in. Nice and hot off the grill. Got a big shrimp on it. There's the clam. Yeah, we just jumped on a tour 
we didn't know where it's going. It was twenty-five dollars a piece. We didn't do it off the boat. Just found a group to do it. Oh, you can hear the the water spraying. Hey, you want to go down on the end? This is certainly beautiful, isn't it? Perfect day. Perfect day on Coco Cay. Wait, this ain't Coco Cay. Oh, yeah. This is where? La Bufadora. La Bufadora. Bufadora. Of course, on a tour like this, you can't forget to buy a souvenir or two. And we bought our dollars worth, that's for sure. Yes, sir. So all this here, this is on the brush or fingers? Uh, with the fingers. With the fingers, well, very Thank you. Hello? Hello. We're gonna remind me of whether in Jamaica or... or Nassau. Sometimes you come down here on really nice buses. Sometimes you can go on one with Monica. Just around the corner were some friendly dogs, our shuttle, and Monica, who was waiting for us patiently, especially for those that didn't show back up. Waiting around for an extra 15 minutes, hey, the bus left them. And we were on to our next adventure, heading back to the port. Getting off this fun-filled excursion, that $4 round-trip shuttle was waiting for us up by that McDonald's. We shopped for a little bit, and then we hopped on board and headed back to the port. So, at this time, I personally want to thank each one of you for joining us on this great journey to La Bufador. And if you like these type of journeys, do me a favor and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when something's coming up, and give me two thumbs up, at least a like, because this is George, the Fittest Rambler. Daddy's off this cheap tour. Signing off.